Hey Scorpio, Alice here with your monthly reading for April 2022. So we're going to look at the incoming energies for you in this month and we'll clarify and if there's anything else that we need to look at or investigate or, you know, curious about, uh, we'll do that. We'll get the potential outcome for April and yeah, we'll wrap that up. So... Technically, this reading is timeless, so whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. It doesn't have to be April. It can just be, you know, you you were drawn to the title or something. I don't know. There's probably some message in here for you. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't try to force it. Um... <laughs> I was just thinking about that because I know sometimes some readings, like they feel like personal readings. I've I've watched, and yeah, I've I've had some readings where I'm like, dude, like, do you have a camera in my life, <laughs> kind of thing. And then sometimes I just watch, and there's like one little thing that I take away from it. So you know, it varies. Um, just you know, be aware of that. That's all. I don't know why I felt like I should explain that more. Um, weird. Um, you know, feel free to check out your other signs, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Uh, there may be some messages in there for you as well. All right, let's get going. Scorpio, I'll try not to make this very long, but don't get to make any promises. What's the incoming energy for you, Scorpio? I'm going to try something with you, Scorpio, where I just read the cards. I find that I explain things too much. And I don't, I don't know. I find it's unnecessary for me to explain things. I feel it's like, I, I, I feel like you just want to know the reading. You don't really want to know how I got to the reading. But sometimes that just means I'm quiet for a few moments. Uh, ah, my hair is like getting in the way here. All right. What's the incoming energy for you, Scorpio? Oh, okay. Um, three cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. Queen of Pentacles, Emperor, Four of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the World, Two of Swords in Reverse, and the Five of Wands. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse and the Page of Pentacles in Reverse. All right. So overall energy here, it can be your energy, it can be somebody else's energy around you, it can be external energy coming in that's affecting you it's overall energy um hmm somebody here doesn't know what to do huh. so somebody here feels like i don't know if this is you or somebody else somebody um they feel like they are unable to do what they want to do you know they're not free to do whatever they want to do and that causes them to kind of just be like, well, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> it's a little like, so I can't do what I want to do. So what do I do now? Um, there's also this feeling of being almost tied down in a sense, like, it's like being, mm, how do I put this? Um, it's not like lesser than, but it just feels like there's somebody who has more power over this person, whoever this energy is, and that is why they can't do the things that they want to do. Um, I don't really know, like, like, it can be, let's say, um, I don't know, uh, you have a very strict um, boss, or you have strict parents, or you have... I don't know, maybe you have a strict partner. I, I don't know. Um, there's just something, he, there's some energy here that is pushing down, it feels, and forcing this person to feel like they can't do what they want to do. I don't know how true that is, um, but they certainly just kind of feel um, a little lost, a little directionless here. Like, okay, what am I supposed to do about this? Mm. So that's the energy, um, the overall energy. 
that is affecting you in some way, Scorpio. So either that's you, your energy directly, or um, somebody else is feeling that way and yeah, it's affecting you. So the incoming energy for you, Scorpio. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's a bit of a mixed bag here, not gonna lie. I feel like there's somebody here who you are quite possessive over. Um, there's somebody here, this this person, this Queen of Pentacles, that you keep your eye on this person. Um, I feel like you don't... Re like, you keep your eye on this person because they... It's like you don't like the... Either you don't like the choices that they're making, or you don't like how many choices they have, like how many options they have, perhaps, um, perhaps they have a lot of people around them. If this is somebody that you're interested in, maybe there are a lot of, um, people that are interested in them. And I mean, who wouldn't be interested in the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles is like, quote, wife material. I, I mean, they don't have to be female, they can be male or whatever. It's just, you know, the queen is female. The energy there is feminine. So it is sort of wife material here. And I feel like there's, there are people that there, there may be, maybe you're too, there are too many people that are kind of vying for this person that then you're comfortable with and you feel a little protective of them. Um, I don't know if it's because you like them or anything like that. I mean, it can just be that you're just protective of them. This can be, um... This can be family, you know, it can be a friend, um, you know, any of that. You're just, you're keeping an eye on the situation, basically, um, this month here. Uh, I feel like you're being a little antisocial. A little. Yeah, a lot antisocial. Um, yeah, but I feel like... It's not forced. Um, this is your choice. You're choosing to spend less time with people. Um, perhaps you just feel overwhelmed. Uh, maybe you're an introvert. Um, and you just kind of like, you know, you just don't really want to spend a lot of time with people this month. Understandable. Um, there seems to be... Huh, there seems to be some sort of conclusion happening here, um, although it's like something is sort of completing, finishing, ending in some way. You really don't really have a choice in it. <laughs> you don't really have a say in it, but I, I don't feel like you're not okay with it. Um, I feel like you're kind of fine with it or whatever it is. So it can be something that you've wanted to complete, something that you feel successful in like yay it's done um but there is here you do feel like there's sort of some sort of opposition here um that maybe mm, maybe somebody doesn't really share your same your your ideas your values or something that you feel like you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to share with you because you clearly don't share how I feel. Um, but I feel like you don't really know that for sure. It's 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 almost like you're making an assumption about this. Um, yeah, this way of thinking here. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I don't really know what that's about. I'm going to clarify... Because I don't really know what that's about. I'm like, it just seems so out of place. But it's not out of place. But I don't really know what it's about. Swords, Justice, Five of Cups, 
I'm just clarifying and then I'll kind of talk about it. Cause like I can talk about it partially, but I feel like it's better if I have the full picture here. The fuck? Ten of Cups and then the Five of Cups in reverse. It was this way <laughs> before. Um, hmm. It's the moon, the high priestess, both in reverse. Oh, oh, okay. So, because I'm like, what is this sort of like not kind of, um, uh, this, what did I say? Oh my god, I just, I, I just forgot. Um, you know, this, this sort of, I'll just say conflict. Because I forgot what I said and whatever. I, I don't think anyways that really matters. It's all one and the same anyways. Um, yeah, whatever this is, it has to do with some sort of disappointment. It's like, it's like you're disappointed that you don't see eye to eye with somebody um, here. Um, yeah. And you're trying to see things their way. But I feel like you think that you're right. <laughs> but you're trying to see their point of view. Trying to kind of understand why they think that way. But you are disappointed that, you know, that they have this differing view than you. And it almost, I don't know who it is, if it's just one person or it can be like a group of friends. Because I feel here that you may be feeling sort of, <sighs> some sort of, regret that you even said anything here it's like oh i regret that i even like shared this um this sort of point of view here in the first place um so it's been very it, it, you've had to it's like you've been in between a rock and a hard place here because it's like you want to be happy like you want the relationships in your life to be happy here but you feel kind of anxious um, because of what you revealed to these people. Uh, that that, that kind of checks out with why you don't want to really talk to people this month. Why you're kind of being a little antisocial here. Because you there's something that, there's some sort of, something that you, you didn't agree on with somebody or people in general here. Okay. Um... The Seven of Wands in reverse. The Magician in reverse. What is this? Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Swords. Oh wait, that's the Eight of Wands. Holy shit, so many eights. Eight, eight, eight. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Magician, Eight of Wands in reverse. So there's something here that's been on your mind that you've been kind of stuck in some sort of situation that maybe that you've been stuck in that you feel like you can't get out of or that you can't really do anything about it 
but I almost feel like you're accepting that there's nothing that you can really do here. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of acceptance here. Oh, I'm just accepting that this is the way it is and that it's, you know, it's not going to go any further. That this is, you know, that this is it here. Um, because somebody isn't communicating with you. Somebody's blocked you. Somebody's blocked you off. The, that's the M person reverse. That's the Eight of Wands in reverse. There's communication that's been closed. Somebody isn't talking to you. So there's this sort of acceptance here that it's it's done. It might be like it could have to do with all of this that you 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 know that you just have differing opinions or differing thoughts about something, and you're just like it just feels like okay, well you're not gonna change your mind, I'm not gonna change my mind, so I guess that's that. I feel like this person is this person. Um, this Queen of Pentacles that you are kind of keeping your eye on still though. So it's like it's it's like you've accepted that it's done, but you may be still kind of thinking about them. Um, watching them, thinking about them, wondering what they're up to. Six of Wands in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. Hmm, the World in reverse. Four of Cups. Four of Coins. It's over here. Uh, in the middle here yeah I feel like there's been a setback here uh, with this person um, there somebody I feel like they it was them they were just you know thinking too much. They were just in their head too much about, you know, where is this going? Like, where where are we going? Like, wh like what's going on here? Like, it, it feels like somebody who wanted more direction in this connection, and they were just thinking too much about it, which kind of is like, okay, well, I mean, it's not... It, it, it wasn't really helping. Um, it was making things a lot more difficult here. Um, there were, you know, it was costing sort of success in this connection. And it even like made things kind of like boring in a way, like kind of made this person a little bit uninteresting um, because they were just so stuck on this notion of I need to know where things are going hmm. but I feel you still keep an eye on this person I, I mean I don't really I don't know how you feel about them but I do feel you are a little possessive over them a little protective of them Seven of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. I feel like you've decided that you're not really going to fight for this this connection with this person. Like, I mean, we have the world here that, like, things have kind of completed with this person here. 
Um, instead, it just feels like you're just kind of going to think about them, maybe even just fantasize them about them, maybe think about the what ifs in here, what could have been kind of here. Yeah, with seven of or eight of coins. It's like how, you know, what could have been, you know, if you had worked things out with this person. Hmm. Okay. Scorpio. I have some questions now. I would like to know how this person feels about you right now in the current energy. How does this person feel about Scorpio? How does this person feel about Scorpio? I feel like they think about you a lot, like that you're, yeah, you're on their mind, at the very least. Let's see, Emperor in reverse, Lovers in reverse, Hanged Man in reverse, Page of Swords, Eight of Swords in reverse, The Fool, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, The Chariot in reverse. Oh, there's a lot of reversals. Don't be scared of all the reversals. King of Wands, Star. I feel like at some point, um, they wanted this. They wanted, um, that there was some sort of goal, um, that they wanted with you, uh, at some point. I mean, I don't really know if they still do. Possibly. They might be still wanting it. I mean, that is their, the overall energy here. Um, uh... Possibly. Um, how do they feel about you? <laughs> they feel stuck. I mean, they're watching you. They they think about you. They have their eye on you. Um, they may be feeling slightly desperate here towards you, but they're still. If you think like, if you think that they're they're still stuck in this, they're still stuck in their head. You know one like they want a direction they want to know where things are going this is they still think about this so if that was like oh if that was resonating with you and that person it's like yes they wanted to like they wanted to put a label on things they wanted to know where is this connection going and everything they still think that way they <laughs> it's still on their minds here but i think they realize that that might have been partially why this connection kind of isn't working out here um but they i don't see them changing this their their ways here they're quite stubborn here there there is a stubborn energy here um yeah i feel like they would be willing to take a risk with you um uh yeah <laughs> But they're gonna, but you know, if that happens, they're gonna be honest about that they're still thinking about this, that they still are thinking about, I need to know where this connection is going. And I feel it's this, like, whatever their goals are for this connection, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's long term commitment, maybe it's marriage. I fucking don't know what it is. But they still want this and they still wanna make sure that the connection is on that path to whatever it is. I don't know. I just get, there's some, des whoops. <laughs> it's my hair clip. Um, there's still some sort of like desperation here. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's how they feel towards you, Scorpio. How do you feel about them? We'll see. Let's see how you feel about them. 
How are you feeling about this person? Because I'm curious. How is Scorpio feeling about this person? Ace of Wands in reverse, World in reverse, Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Scorpio, you you have some feelings um here, and I feel like you do want to fight for this, but it's not making you like like you don't. Hmm. It's like you have feelings here, but it's kind of like you don't really want to start anything here. Um, it would just be repeating patterns. It would just be the same shit, basically. Um, you feel like it would be the same shit. Ah, that's where this is coming from. This feeling like you can't do what you want to do. It's coming from this energy. Um, yeah, you, you feel like you couldn't do what you want to do. You feel like you'd be fighting with this person possibly all the time because I feel like you don't really want things like you don't I'm not seeing like a commitment here like I'm not seeing either yes or no to a commitment but this feels like you feel like things aren't going to last a long time so like you feel like with this person things wouldn't really last a long time but like, I feel like you do want to like give um affection to this person like you do want to give them something here but eh, i mean you're kind of in your head um about the whole thing as well you know you're thinking you're you're, you're thinking about this person they're in your head um mm, but i feel like overall like you kind of secretly are just looking out for yourself um like you you wouldn't tell this person that you are looking out for your own interests here um which i mean i get it because i mean if you if you're in this and you don't feel very free like you don't kind of I, I get this feeling that you don't really want to be tied down here and you feel like you would be tied down to this person but you still have feelings here like you still like have some sort of affection here but it just yeah it wouldn't make you happy to be tied down here to feel like you can't do whatever the hell you want to do um okay let's see what uh the potential outcome is for you scorpio for april What's the potential outcome for Scorpio after I put the cards back? All right, what's the potential outcome here for April for Scorpio? I keep seeing that nine of pencils in reverse. I, oh, how nice. Five of wands in reverse. Da, da, da. Hmm. I feel like hmm, overall you may be kind of stressed out because there's something that's not really right here or 
you feel that it's not right or you think that it's not right rather um it could be that you think that it's just lopsided um that it's not fair like you think it's just not fair you know what i'm kind of getting um with this whole reading scorpio is that this person this queen of pentacles that you and this person have differing obviously you have differing ideas and it almost feels like you're a part of a friend group and that this person because you have differing ideas it's almost like you had to kind of step away and you know and so like they kind of got to keep the friends kind of thing i don't know i'm just kind of getting that sort of energy i mean it doesn't have to be for everyone but that sounds very that's very specific um but just here because like i see the overall energy it's like stressing out because you're like it's not fair it, like i i just get you know you're you're thinking that this isn't fair um i feel like you may be lying or you're, there's or somebody's lying to you um I see there may be some arguments here um, about those lies, possibly, or just like arguing about arguing about things that like aren't even like true, which is like really weird. Like, yeah, you know, actually, you're just you're probably arguing about the lies. I'm like, why are you arguing about things that aren't true? Oh yeah, if you're lying or somebody's lying to you, then yeah, it's causing arguments here. Um, I feel like what's going to what's going to end up happening is you're just going to take a break. You're going to you're going to take a break from all this craziness and just kind of like you need to recharge because you're going to feel like you can't do anything about the situation. Um it may even knock your confidence down, your self-esteem down a little bit here. Um yeah, I I feel like I feel like this is just somebody, somebody's lying to you. They're coming at you with a bunch of lies and you're just going to be like, well, what the fuck? That's not even true. Like, why would you even say that? I'd like, that's not what happened. Like, and it, it, you're going to have to like, yeah, it almost feels like you might just say nothing even, um, just kind of remove yourself from the situation, um, because there isn't really anything that you can say or do, um, to prove otherwise. I, w I would I would say that this seems to be more of a he said she said thing because you don't there's nothing here that says like I can prove that what you're saying is a lie um there really isn't and I just you I, I mean it just seems like the best thing for you and what's going to happen possibly because this is a possible outcome um that you know just kind of like get away from it for a little bit let you know let things calm down um maybe people will just forget that's what the universe has to say about this because this does not seem fair and i agree this does not seem fair so what does the universe want to tell you scorpio what message does the universe have for scorpio of swords three of cups four of coins and two of swords i feel like you're gonna have to make a choice between your friends here um the universe is basically saying you're gonna have to make a decision on sort of the company that you keep here um yeah um because it's like in order to sort of like i get like protecting here wanting to protect what you feel is valuable it can be friendship um protecting a friendship here and this is something that's going to be on your mind but you may also be feeling restricted in what you can say here because it sounds to me like somebody is like talking a lot of shit here and 
I feel like there are people in your life that you are kind of, you're disappointed that they, maybe that this might come back to them and they might, you know, you know, think a certain way here. Um, think about this, like, you know, things that aren't even true. And like, that's like, that, you know, weighs on your mind and you feel kind of restricted here, but it, <sighs> yeah, it seems like you may have to like, you know, take some sort of risks possibly here to make some sort of choice on who you choose, choose who your friends are. It's almost like choose wisely the people that you um, hang out with, you know, because you, you need to sort of protect yourself and really think about, you know, think about the, the, the company that you keep here. Are they restricting you in some way? Like, are you not seeing something about these people? Like, are you kind of, you know, um, what's the word? Turning a blind eye to something here. Something like that. Um, I mean, take whatever resonates. If it resonates with you, then cool. If not, you know, don't try to force it here. Um, you know, you know your situation better than I do. So apply it to however you feel would benefit you. Okay? All right, Scorpio, that... Why is this bumped over? All right, Scorpio, that is your reading for April 2022. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this insightful or interesting or helpful or just entertaining. If you did, I would appreciate if you could like and or subscribe. That just helps me do more with the channel. Um, yeah, good luck this month. Take care. And I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are, and I'll talk to you later.